Do you wish you can create chords in Logic Pro, but you don't know any theory? Or are you tired of spending money on MIDI packs when you don't have to? Well, today I'm going to show you three easy ways to create chords in Logic Pro. No theory, no paid packs, just tools that are already there for you. By the end of this video, you'll be able to sit down, hit a couple of keys, and get really awesome sounding chords. Let's jump right into it. So here is my project. For the purposes of this video, I just added a quick drum loop from Splice. This is what it sounds like. And now I have my software instrument track set up where I'm going to quickly add chords. For the first instrument, I'm gonna be using Sky Key's Beautiful Roads. They sound so pretty like this. super pretty, right? So now I want to add chords quickly. Because I don't have a camera on my keyboard, I'm going to click Command K to show you musical typing and to really show you how easy this is. So you don't even need a MIDI controller to create these beautiful chords. So now what we're going to do is go over to MIDI effects, go down to where it says logic, and then go over to chord trigger. This pops up and now I can just hit a note and it creates a beautiful chord. Or you can use your regular keyboard here and create some chords. How cool is that? So if I record it in, check out what happens. It just records the one note I'm playing to trigger the chords. But I want to see the exact chords in the piano roll. So here's how you do that. All you have to do is go over here and then go down to where it says record MIDI to track here. And now there's these two little arrows. Now check this out. I'm going to hit record. How cool is that? So I can see the MIDI chords in here, and now I can go through and even make these sound more human by just going over to Functions, MIDI Transform, and going down to where it says Humanize. This is going to slightly randomize the velocity and the pitch to make it sound more human, and you can select and operate as many times as you want. So bam, 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 bam. You see, now it's slightly altered it. Something that I like to do is I like to be like a little bit behind the beat instead of being in front of the beat. So I just like select everything and then just kind of like nudge it over just a hair. And now let's check it out. And two more cool things I want to show you with this. So there's also presets in here that you can take advantage of. So there's guitar voicings, which sound like this. You can mess around with some keyboard voicings. Let's check out Jazz Ballad Left Hand. So beautiful. And let me see if I record some of these in. How cool is that? So I'm going to press Q to quantize. And now what I want to do is I'm going to go over to region. I'm going to go down to where it says Q flam. And this is really cool because now we can stagger the notes with this. So I'm going to select all of these. I'm going to go over to Q flam and I'm going to pick either plus ticks, which will stagger them like this, or minus ticks, which will stagger them like this. But let's try plus ticks first. And so you can hear how this sounds. that and here's the minus takes let's say you want to come up with like really cool rhythms but you don't know how to play piano so this one other really cool trick that you can do is go over here go down to logic and then select arpeggiator basically it's going to do the chord trigger first 
and then the arpeggiator. Check this out. How cool is that? So that could be really cool for melodies, but let's say you want to actually play a chord groove. So you go over to presets, which is over here, go to app presets and go to complex chord groove, or whatever one you want. Now check this out. And let me record it in so you can see. Honestly, that sounds amazing. And I'm literally just using the tools in Logic Pro. How cool is that? Moving on. So that is the first easy peasy way to add chords in Logic Pro. Let's jump on to the second way. If you select option G on your keypad, keyboard, you guys know what I mean, then the global track configuration pops up and I want to see chord track. So chord track is really awesome. I can just go here and select this little plus sign and then I could start adding chords. I have my scissor tool on my right mouse clicker so I can actually go through and like break this up like this and just to like create a bunch of chords. So I want to do a chord for every bar and now you can go through and just kind of like pick chords if you know what chords you want to go to next. So like let's say you know you want to go to E and then you know you want to go to G. But something else that's really cool is after you pick your rhythms, you can go here and select group chords. And now they're all here. And then what you can do is you can go over here to chord progressions. And Logic already knows the chord progressions that work well. And this is all that theory stuff that maybe you know or maybe you don't know, but it's awesome if you ever dive into that. But Logic already has it all set up for you. So you can go here and then it'll create like a really cool chord progression. Now, you're probably wondering, well, how do I get those chords onto the MIDI? How do I get the MIDI to play those chords? Well, there's a couple of ways. One way that you can do it is that you just move whatever instrument you want to be as the first instrument and Logic will copy that, you'll see what I mean. So if I just drag this down into this empty space, Logic is going to recreate that first one. I want to make sure I turn off the chord trigger and the ARP. And now check it out. So if my first instrument here was something else, I can also just drag it right into that. So let's say I want this to actually play um, Anna 2. So now we go over here. Let's go to Cheap Orchestra. And I just drag this into there. And now it's going to play this one. Now, let's say you want it to play something a little bit more fancy. What you can do is you can go right click over here and then do new session player. And then you can pick the keyboard player and there's so much you can do with this. So you can decide how you want the player to play. Do you want it to play freely, which will play like this? Or do you want it to play with broken chords? And you can mess around with a bunch of these. I'll just show you one more. Let's do simple pad. Which is really cool. It also will like pick the sound that they think would be best for you, but you can also change it up. So there's also so many other things you can do with this. I can change the complexity. I can change the intensity. I could change the rhythm. I can have the rhythm actually follow the drums. I can also turn off the left hand if I don't want it. So much you can do with this session player. So that is the second way to add chords in Logic Pro. Easy peasy. Now let's talk about the third easy way to add chords in Logic Pro. So if you go over here to the loop library, you have over 33,000 royalty free loops that are really good that you can take advantage of. And you could use these as just a starting point or an end point, whatever you want. I'm just going to go over to the search loops 
window and I'm gonna type in chords. If this green icon pops up, that means that these are MIDI loops. You can have just MIDI loops pop up, you can have just session player loops pop up, or you can look at them all. Let me show you what it sounds like if I drag in these MIDI loops. So if you like something, you drag it in. I kind of like dragging in like a few. So here's what it sounds like. Let me mute this. And something cool about this is you can change up the variations. So let's say I want to repeat this one. I'm just going to press Command R. And then I click down this arrow button and I can just quickly switch this to the variation three. And then I could just hold down option and then drag this one over. So it kind of like has parts of the song and then it'll go back to this first part. And maybe you want to change this up to make this sound like your own. First thing you can do is change the instrument. So like I said, I really like sky keys. So I'm going to change it to sky keys and let me pick a keys one. Let's go with, let's go with synth electric piano. And maybe I want to lower this an octave to make it sound a little darker. I could just press shift, option, arrow key down, and let's hear how it sounds. That sounds super cool. And another really cool thing that you can do to change it up and make it your own is you can do Command A and then you can go over to here and then MIDI transform. And let's say I want to half speed this. So I'm gonna press select and operate and now check out how this sounds. So you can very easily switch things up and make it sound like your own. So there you have it, three easy ways to add chords in Logic Pro. Let me know if you guys want a more detailed tutorial on some of these. For example, there are so many things you can do in Chord Trigger. Let me know if you want a detailed tutorial on that, or if you want a detailed tutorial on the keyboard session player, please let me know in the comments. If you want 350 more quick Logic Pro tips, I created a Logic Pro Ultimate Bundle, everything you need to Master Logic Pro. I'll link it in the description and right now it's on sale. So if you are interested in it, check it out now. Pretty please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next week. Free audio post production by Alphonic.com.